What will we do with this moment? How will we be remembered? This is our future and our choice to make. I am asking you to choose greatness. Welcome back to Real Trump News. Real news President Trump doesn't want you to miss. According to 1600 Daily from the White House, this Tuesday, President Trump introduced the most realistic and detailed plan ever presented for peace between Israel and the Palestinians. Peace to prosperity is a fundamentally different vision for one of the world's most complex problems. President Trump said, my vision presents a win-win opportunity for both sides. President Trump also took the step of meeting with Israel's opposition leader, Lieutenant General Benny Gass. In doing so, the president secured agreement from both major Israeli figures on the peace to prosperity vision. President Trump said, peace transcends politics by any measure. Now, for the first time in this conflict, President Trump has reached an understanding with Israel's leadership on a map with real borders for a proposed two-state solution. Palestinians and Israelis both deserve a future of peace and prosperity. A realistic compromise will protect Israel's security, fulfill an aspiration of self-determination for Palestinians, and ensure universal and respectful access to the holy sites of Jerusalem. President Trump's vision designated defensible border for Israel and does not ask it to compromise on the safety of its people. For Palestinians, the vision delivers significant territorial expansion, allocating land roughly comparable in size to the West Bank and Gaza, for establishing a Palestinian state. Transportation link will allow for efficient movement between Gaza and the West Bank, as well as throughout Palestine. President Trump said all humanity should be able to enjoy the glory of the Holy Land. This part of the world is forever connected to the human soul and the human spirit. These ancient lands should not be symbol of conflict, but eternal symbols for peace. President Trump's legal team wrap up its case against House Democrats' dangerous and weak articles of impeachment on Tuesday, telling senators they should leave the rights of choosing a president to the American people. White House counsel Pastor Pallone said, What they're asking you to do is to throw out a successful president on the eve of an election with no basis and in violation of the Constitution. It will weaken we can forever all our democratic institutions. The first bipartisan impeachment in U.S. history. Here are the 10 things that really matter. First, Democrats aren't just trying to remove President Trump from office. They want to remove him from the ballot. Their articles of impeachment would bar him from holding any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. Second, investigating corruption in Ukraine, including potential conflicts of interest involving Hunter Biden and Ukrainian energy company Burisma, is not baseless as Democrat claim. Even the Obama State Department had concern. So did ABC News and others. 3. House Democrats' shame investigation was unauthorized and unconstitutional. A president defending his due process right is called separation of powers, not obstruction of Congress. 4. For Democrats, impeachment was always a goal in search for an excuse. Once the Russian collusion hawks failed, they found another excuse within months. 5. Speaker Nancy Pelosi called impeachment a matter of urgent national security. Then she followed the fastest impeachment in history with longest delay. 6. Under House Democrats' new bar for impeachment, at least 20 former presidents will have been removed from office, including George Washington. 7. Representative Adam Schiff won the Senate to do the House job for it and investigate. The House didn't even bother to subpoena witnesses such as former National Security Advisor John Bolton that now they claim are crucial to hear. A. Even Democrats' own call witness testified that President Trump's policy of lethal defense aid toward Ukraine is stronger than under President Obama. 
Nine, the do-nothing Democrats keep putting politics first and American people second, but President Trump is working hard and keeping his promises. Ten, you don't need to listen to second-hand sources; you can read the transcript. The Federalist reported President Donald Trump became the first president to attend the March for Life rally in its 47th year on the National Mall on Friday. At the demonstration, Trump made clear his commitment to pro-life value, while hundreds of protesters carried signs declaring Trump the most pro-life president in history. Finally, let's end with a short video of President Trump's speech at the rally. Real Trump News will see you next time. It is my profound honor to be the first president in history to attend the March for Life. We're here for a very simple reason: to defend the right of every child, born and unborn, to fulfill their God-given potential. From the first day in office, I've taken a historic action to support America's families and to protect the unborn. For 47 years, Americans of all backgrounds have traveled from across the country to stand for life.